Welcome to Life Inside Hell. It's me, Brother Wild Bill, coming to you from inside the most dangerous prison in the Western Hemisphere. I was a professional killer in the street from 2006 until 2010 here in Central America when I was arrested and extradited back to Panama, uh, given a 46-year sentence for quintuple homicide, and I'm 13 years into that sentence, and I'm in a place called Sector C, which is the most terrible oppressive and horrible prison in the Western Hemisphere. So we're putting together a hunger strike on the 1st of June. And I want to talk about a little bit why we're doing that. We're in a facility, or I am, I and the other 127 fellows who are here are also in a facility where they've suspended all human rights. They've suspended human rights. They've suspended legal rights. They can do anything they want to you here. You can't, they don't have any legal recourses like the human rights associations in Panama don't give a shit about what goes on here. Um, it's really a hell on earth. You know, I mean, there's, I'm going to actually add some links that I don't usually put in the description box below. If you want to know more about Sector C, now these links are in Spanish, so you'll have to ask Google, Google to translate them for you if you really want to know what they're about. Um, each one of the links I've put in the description box will have a description below it and what it talks about. But here, a lot of some people commit suicide. Lots of people are people are murdered. The, some of the prisoners have firearms. Uh, the 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 police are thoroughly corrupt and horrible. They abuse the prisoners. Uh, they don't give you anything here. You know, you don't, you don't get uniforms. You don't get bedding. You don't get uh, toothpaste, toothbrush, toilet paper, medicine. You don't get jack shit. You know, you get nothing. This is a punishment area that the, the, Panamanian, the Panamanians put you in when they want you to, to, to literally, like, that you no longer exist. I mean, think of the most corrupt and terrible prison on earth, and this is where I am. So what we're trying to do is to get the authorities famous. We want to make the authorities in Panama famous for this shithole that they run. It, they, they run Sector C against all... Um, international treaties they have with the UN and against their own national law as well. Law 55 made in 2003 by the, the, the Assembly of Panama, which is the Congress of Panama, Parliament of Panama, makes all this treatment here illegal. It's not illegal. And the, the, the Nelson, Nelson Mandela Accords of the UN, which Panama is signed, a signed partner to, also makes Panama's treatment of prisoners in Sector C illegal. The international governments love, like the United States, England, the UK, uh, Germany, Australia, these, you know, New Zealand, South Africa, even these countries love uh, the EU, European Union, love Sector C. Why? Because when, like, if you're, let's say you're in Costa Rica and not Panama, another Central American nation that has a lot of human rights, really good human rights record. And they pick you up on an Interpol notice, but there's no, there's no, like, case file to go with it to, to say why you should be held or, or anything like that. The, 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 the home country has, like, the country that's requesting your extradition would have 60 days to, to figure, to, to give some kind of information about why they're wanting you and a promise that they won't execute you. If, you, if they send you back, Costa Rica would then, at, at the end of 60 days, if no, nobody has asked, they, they're required to give you asylum, political asylum, and, and asylum and drop you, and drop you out of prison. Panama is required to do the same thing. That's international law. But Panama, what Panama does instead is they stick you in Sector C and they don't give a shit how long it takes, years, you know, decades, until you promise and sign a piece of paper saying you'll go back to your home nation and if they kill you, that's your fucking problem. And so, so that's what Sector C is, and that's the reason. I hope I've explained it well. It's a tool that the foreign governments use through Interpol to make sure that everybody that gets put in here cooperates with the, with the, the first world government, that they have to go back. Nobody can stand being in Sector C for more than about a year. Uh, I had a friend named Norman who was here who fought it for a year and a half, and then he said, fuck it, I'm going home. I don't, even, I don't know if they're going to kill me or what, but I'm going home. I can't live here anymore. This is, this is not livable, and it's true. It's not. You have to buy your own food here even. I mean, you have to buy everything. You, have to, you know, it's expensive to live in here. You think it's cheap. It's expensive as hell. you got to live six, $700 a month just to live, and to live like shit it costs six or $700 a month. 
So that's in, that's a that's an international prisoner. A national prisoner, like I'm I'm an American citizen, but my crimes were in Panama, so so I'm I'm punished like a national. And the reason Sector C exists for nationals is it's a place to put somebody when you're like really sick of them and you don't want to you don't you don't want them to have any rights or anything like you want to punish them, but you want to punish them as if they're dead. That's where they put you here in this place where it's like a, a concrete hell, a concrete tomb, where you don't have a voice anymore. You don't have any legal rights anymore. So they put you here, and we call it a Deposito de Carne Humana, a warehouse of human flesh is what this place is. They cram your ass in here with a bunch of monsters, and um, if you get killed, good. If you kill yourself, good. If you die of natural causes, even better. And it happens all the time. As you can see in the description box below, there's a lot of new links there. So what I'm doing is organizing a hunger strike on the 1st of June with the purpose of of introducing Sector C to the world. So, what I'm asking all of you to do, listening, is to, if you know of any media contacts that would be interested, and I'm not talking about little bitty podcasts and things like that, I'm talking about real media contacts. If anybody has any personal media contacts, now I've sent emails to NBC, CBS, CNN, BBC, CBC, you know, all the big international news media outlets. But, hang on just a second, there's screaming something in here. Anyway, um, I have to be very careful right now because the things are heated up with the, with the impending uh, the impending hunger strike. I'm worried that the authorities are going to come down and crush me. Um, they all know that I'm, I'm organizing it, so it's very dangerous for me. So... What, I, what I'd like anybody to do is to put me in contact with any new, any any reasonable news media outlet or any reporter or any media outlet that they know. If you're listening to this and you know of anybody, please help me. Help me get this story out because we're going to start on the 1st of June, but I need to get something organized before then so that when we begin, that the news media is already on top of it. Because if I wait until we're already in a hunger strike, the hunger strike could last a very long time. We want, it, we, want it to, we want it to be effective quickly so to minimize the pain that we're all going to have to go through here. We're all risking our lives, literally, to do this. So if you want to contact me directly, in the description box below, there's a way to do that. Yeah, there's my email address. There's uh, Instagram and Facebook. There's also a link to a book I wrote called Long Live the King Wild Bill and a Wikipedia page that you can read for free. If you have any suggestions, reasonable suggestions, please reach out to me. If you want to help in any way, please reach out to me. I need the help. I need the, 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 um, I need the media contacts is what I really need right now. Uh, any other help would also be advisable. And so please feel free if you have any thoughts or anything to email me. There's my email address there or to contact me through Instagram or Facebook. God bless each and every one of you. I love you. Jesus Christ loves you too. It's me, Wild Bill.